turn around and look at me. Hi, Lane. Here we are. We're going to Vancouver. Now we're not going to Vancouver. Wrong trip. I hope it's wrong. Break it there. Hi. Hi. Kilmer Sunoco. Please kill me. Okay, here we are at our first luxurious lunch stop, McDonald's. Good morning. Good morning. We're in Portland, Maine after an evening at the Bates Motel. <laughs> Come to Camden, Maine. We're down at the harbor. We just had lunch at Cappy's Chowder House. And we're down by the waterfront looking at all the boats. We had lobster roll for lunch. Wouldn't it have been nice to sit on that boat and eat it? And here's my non-s'more snoring partner in crime. Hi. Beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And we wish we were sailing on this boat. Look, Lauren and Haley and Hannah. We found little ducks in the water. This is the village, and we're looking out to sea, and all these ships are getting ready to go on cruises, and we don't have any time to take one. Bye, Camden. Well, this is Bar Harbor, and we just arrived. It is beautiful. There are the girls. Say hi, girls! Hi! I just spied a nice sailboat. Look at that sailboat with all the sails up. Wish I could go on a ride. We are at the Fish House Grill in Bar Harbor. And here are my dinner partners, Bertie, Chris, and Doris. Hi. See you after Hi. dinner. Hi, we're having our lobster dinner. Hi, Lane and Bertie are going to enjoy their dinner. And here's Chris. She's having lobster dinner also. Good morning. Here we are at the Quality Inn. We're getting ready to go on our CAT. Look at all these pretty flowers. We're at the Quality Inn in Bar Harbor. Now it's on to Nova Scotia. Hi. Wait a minute. Right in Nova Scotia. Wait a minute. I don't think it's going. It is. The light's on. Okay. Okay, stop it. We're on the cat and we're on our way to Nova Scotia. Three and a quarter hours. We'll see you soon. Yep, we're leaving on the cat for Nova Scotia. And we're sailing across the Bay of Fundy. In three and a quarter hours. We're crossing the Bay of Fundy on the cat, going from Bar Harbor to Nova Scotia. And you can hear the hydraulic catamaran that we're on making all that noise. And this is pretty nifty. Standing on the very top deck of a cat, and we can see that the wake that the boat is leaving as we're leaving Bar Harbor. This is a state of the art boat. This is pretty nifty. We're crossing the Bay of Fundy. We're stopped in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. We're having lunch. Here are my lunch partners. This is my roommate. And uh, Goods is our waiter. We were the last one served, so we we got it to be the last one to so eat. This is our little bus group. So far they only get a seat. This is where we had our first dinner in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. It was lunch. 
We had scallop, baked potato, lousy squash, and coleslaw. And we all sat in a big room at long tables. Bye. The road on the way to the Yarmouth Harbor Light. And this is a scenic view of the harbor. While I'm taking this picture, the smell of fish stinks. Fish is stinking. John's Cove Lobsters, that's where we are. The picture of the CAT that we rode over from Bar Harbor to Nova, Yarmouth, Nova Scotia on. And it's now leaving Yarmouth to go back to Bar Harbor. Everybody on this boat practically got sick on the way over. We're at the Yarmouth Headlight. And this is by the bay. The Yarmouth Light Headlight. And this is my friend Chris. He's a friend of Doris's. They're graduates of Millersville. They've known each other for years. Up the hill to the headlight. And this is the view. Overlooking the harbor. This is the view going up the hill to the headlight. And here's the back view of the headlight in the Bay of Fundy. Come back down the hill and see all these pretty flowers. It's overcast today and it's pretty windy. Today's Thursday. Back at the Yarmouth headlight and my stars are cold. Say hi everybody. Hi. Oh, we're in the Grand Rod Hotel and we're in a reception room and look what it's called. It's called Haley's. See? Here we are. We're in Haley's restaurant. Welcome to Haley's at the Grand Rod Hotel. After a day of touring, <laughs> we're we so Yes, we are. This is our room. Not exactly the lap of luxury, but it's clean. Well, it's Friday morning, and we're leaving the Rod Grand Hotel. This is Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. From our room, we can see the water. And these are seagulls flying. Beautiful, but windy day. We're looking forward to our next tour. Bye. Catholic Church 
And this is the name. Parish of St. Mary. This is what it looks like from the outside. It's got an incredibly high steep. Bellevue Cove. This is Bellevue Cove. This is in the Bay of Fundy. And see, the boats are sitting right on the sand. But when the tide comes in, as much as 54 inches of water will flow back into this cove from this bay. Here's the lighthouse. This is the Bay of Fundy. We've made a stop for lunch at the Mountain Gap Resort. And this is the view out the window that we're looking at. Pretty flowers. Pink. Yellow. This is the town of Digby. They're famous for scallops. Digby scallops are famous all over the world. These beautiful pink roses are lining the outside of the window we're looking at while we have lunch today. Here's some pretty daisies. Pretty purple flowers. This is my bed partner. And we're sitting here waiting for our lunch, looking out the window at these beautiful flowers. Digby Bay. This is the harbor opening. Just feeding, finished eating lunch at the Inn Mountain Gap Lounge restaurant, and that's what the pictures were that you saw. I'm going to get it correct. We're at the Fort Inn National Historical Site at Fort Fort Royal. We're at the Fort Ann, Port Royal, Annapolis. This is where my port was, overlooking the river. Standing high up on a bluff. See the cannons. And the old fort. And on this side of the fort is the museum. Who is that guy, Birdie? <laughs> Here we go. We're taking this view. Out to the water. Beautiful day. But windy. We're at the hydro basin for the Bay of Fundy. And this is the hydro generating plant. And I erroneously said before the tide changes 54 inches. It can change up to 54 feet. And the water passes through from the Bay of Fundy. And this is the turbines generating the water back into the bays. And those boats that were on dry land will now fill up with this rush of water. High tide today will be 4.05. It's now about quarter of four. Fish and all kinds of stuff can flow through this. The huge turbines are what make the water 
uh, the tides change and bring the water back into the bay. What we call the Annapolis Basin. It's this particular body of water that the famous explorer Champlain uh, would first explore in 1604. Port Royal Habitation. This is Fort Royal. This is a gentleman dressed in authentic French garb. See the wooden shoes. Hi. Nice of you to have us over, Doris. <laughs> John is reasonably comfortable. Uh, first of all, of course, introductions. My name is John Wooler, and on behalf of Parks Canada, I would like to extend a very warm and sunny welcome to all of you today. This is the Fort of Port Royal. And this is the Annapolis Basin. Beautiful sunny day today. They were on the coastline. It's all loaded with rock. And across the basin are beautiful pine trees. This is where the people lived who worked at the fort. This is in, the water is called the Annapolis Basin and the fort is called Port Royal. This is the same Port Royal fort and this is the front in the Old Orchard Inn in Wolfville. And Birdie's looking in the telephone book to see if there's any sprawls. No sprawls. Okay, well, this is where we're going to spend the night. And then we're off to Halifax tomorrow. Yes, we are. And as you can see out the window, it is raining, raining, raining. This is our first real rain since we got here. We're going to dinner at 6 o'clock. We're at the Old Orchard Inn in Wolfville, Nova Scotia. This is the view from the <coughs> roof of the Old Orchard Inn in beautiful downtown Wolfville. Um, you can see the water. And we're on our way to Peggy's Cove. These are the apple trees. Hence the name Old Orchard Inn. And to Halifax. At the Grand Prix Dyke, Nova Scotia. Grand Prix was a marshland community lived in by Acadians. And this is the gardens. Drizzling. The statue of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow and these got beautiful gardens leading up to the church.
church has really pretty gardens. You can hear the crows. The Acadians who lived here at the Grand Prix Marsh developed this dike to keep the seawater out and they were able to plant their crops and grow much vegetation. This is Peggy's Cove. And here's a flower memorial for the victims of Swiss Air 111. This is the bay. And we're out there you can see the ships who are retrieving the debris from the plane. Take these clay. You can see the nets for the lobsters. These are the boats retrieving the wreckage from the plane. It's quite a large cove. There's only 60 to 100 residents that live here. Cove is a working lobster fishing village, and here are the lobster crates. This is a different view of Peggy's Cove, a working fishing village. Gardens. This is and Julie. Does she have to work for the same company as me? Isn't that funny? Uh, we're going to have to go on. Look, Haley, Laura, and Hannah, duckies. Pond full of ducks. Look, Lauren, look at the duck. <laughs> These are the public gardens in Halifax. There's a duck. Look, Lauren, look at the duck. Look, Haley. But this one is my own. I just got it actually three weeks ago. Oh. This is Julie, and she's a bad piper. Yes, piper. it turned out really nice. The 
Citadel in Halifax. He stands duty. This is the guard who stands duty. This is the Citadel. It is not a working fort. It used to be a working fort, but not any longer. Built in design or in anticipation of an American attack on the remainder of British North America in the 19th century. So it is designed as the United States as being the major threat at the time. Uh, like I say, this is the poor citadel. Uh, the original, the first citadel was merely a, a block, or sorry, uh, This is a historic clock at the Citadel. It dates from the late 1700s. The observation deck of the Halifax Maritime Museum. And these are some of the boots. This is the Blue News 2, supposedly one of the famous sailing ships in Halifax history. a little view of Halifax Harbor. <clears throat> didn't even see her. We got you going. Okay, good. Hi. 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 Uh, well, Jack's head's in the way. Jack? Can you take off your head? Blue nose. There, we got it now. Okay, great. Just press record. Here we are at the Citadel Halifax. This is our room. State Farm Insurance. Naming our promise of protection to generation after generation. We have a view out of our hotel room window. Or the main drag. going to Prince Edward Island as I'm taking this picture there's a strong stench of fish we're waiting for the ferry to Prince Edward Island and this is it coming into the dock we're on the ferry headed to Prince Edward Island. And, uh, heading out to sea. I forget the name of the sea, the body of water this is, but in my next transmission I'll tell you what, what water we're sailing on. Here are the stars of my movie. Yeah. We're eating ice cream in Charlottetown, uh, Prince Edward Island. Good, right, Doris? Delicious. Oh. How about yours, Chris? Can't beat it. How about you, Birdie? Yummy. <laughs> okay. Onward and up.